The state has given out more than 2 million COVID tests since March. Our daily cases increased today by 1,201, bringing the overall total to more than 148,000. And New Mexico is now at 2,594 deaths and more than 70,000 recoveries. Now, despite this huge testing total, not every result may be entirely accurate. And the FDA now says one specific test right here in New Mexico has a major flaw. Brandon Evans joins us now with that warning for us this afternoon. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Shelly, yeah, the FDA's warning doesn't say that there's a flaw in that test, the mouth swab test that's used by Curative and the at-home version that you said that Vault can administer. It just says that the accuracy of that test depends almost entirely on the instructions being followed. There wasn't anything in the FDA's caution that suggested that the test did not perform to its expected or stated standards in its emergency use authorization. So why the warning about false negative results? Presbyterian's Dr. Salvin Harmon says it really boils down to this. Quality of the specimen really drives the ability to keep the, the number of false negatives low. And if you're not doing it in the presence of a trained health care provider, he says you could make one of these common mistakes. First step is that the individual being tested needs to um, cough forcefully three or four times, and that's to try to bring any, any mucus from the back of our airways up into the oral cavity, into the mouth area. He says the instructions will also ask you to swab four different parts of your mouth. Those in individuals who are, are collecting their own specimen need to very closely follow those instructions being provided to them. A high quality specimen yields reliable results. He tells me even if you followed those instructions to the letter, you still might want to get tested again if your symptoms don't match the results of your test. For instance, if you tested negative, but you're still sick. Reporting in Rio Rancho, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.